Hey kids. So today I'm going to show you how to use a camping stove. Mine's fairly well worn. I've had it for probably 20 years, probably longer actually. And so you can see it's a little bit uh, used, but you know, it still does the trick, still, still lights up. And if you're going to go camping, this is one of the things, one of the essentials, because you know, when you go camping, you got to get up in the morning and have your coffee and your bacon, right? And so you need to know how to, how to use one of these. They probably have improved them a little bit. I think there's probably a, um, a starter that you can use for it. Mine, um, you just light it with a, with a match or with a, one, you know, one of those flames. So um, anyway, before we do that though, I'm gonna, I do have a dad joke for you. So did you hear about the, the two hats that were hanging on the hat rack? One hat said to the other, you stay here, I'll go on ahead. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. Okay. So you can see that mine's fairly well worn here. Uh, I've had this for boy, at least 20 years, I think. Uh, and so it's been, <laughs> been on several camping trips. Uh, but I just looked online and it looks like the model really hasn't changed because it's fairly simple. But if you've never done it before, I just wanted to walk you through what that looks like. So here's what mine is. Um, it's got a little handle on it to make it easy to carry. You'll be thankful that you have this when you go camping so you can make coffee and bacon and all the amazing stuff. So uh, anyway, so it's just got a little lever here. Just pop that open like that. And then you, uh, it has these wings here, okay? So you just open up. It's to block the wind because you're dealing with a flame, right? So, and then they just go in the side here like that. Same thing on this side. Just like that. So it just pinches like that and goes in the side. Okay, and then you just pinch it to remove it. And you basically just have two burners here. And then you need this piece right here. It fits in there for easy storage. Um, looks just like that. Okay, and then this just has a, a notch on the side here. There's a little hole here that you just put that in. And then you screw it in, okay, you just twist that until it's fairly tight and then you can use this as leverage once it gets tight and you just kind of use that to kind of tighten it down. Okay, so that's all nice and tight. And then now you need your propane here, your uh, fuel, right, and it comes with a cap like that and you just pull that off. Okay, now we're going to take this and Attach it. You just want to make sure you screw it in good. Here's a close up of this too. So this just goes right in here, right? That's got a little thing that sticks out. You can just tighten that. tight and then you just kind of hold it and, and work it there there you go so it's nice and tight okay and then this guy just like this just blocking your view there but <laughs> it just screws right into that guy you want to make sure these are secure, right? So that they, you don't have any gas leaking out. So, all right. So now we're ready to go. All we got to do, we just need our flame. You can use a match or one of these, uh, and then you just turn it on. Okay, either one. You can hear the gas coming out of it. There you go. It's lit. And then now I can just increase my heat or lower my heat. Kind of a handy little deal to have uh you know if you ever have a power outage and you can go outside and you know cook cook for yourself too i think these are 40 or 50 dollars uh and then the gas is just a, a few dollars too i think um and then if we wanted to light the other one too we just do the same thing there you go so you can cook your bacon and your coffee in the morning when you're camping and so then just to disassemble you just close it all up and then you just uh, loosen this back up and it'll pop because it's got a little bit of a seal. No big deal. We'll just 
see that? Okay, and then you just take it back apart. time. So, all right. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.